What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got one pretty big story for you and some questions, so let's get into it. Our story of the day has to do with the Galaxy S24 series. This phone should be out probably in February of 2024, which is only about what, five months away at this point, six months away. And what are we gonna see in terms of this phone? Well, we might see a nice upgrade finally to the charging at the very least. So here's the information that is coming out. It's coming from RG Cloud saying that stacked battery is on track, but limited, most likely only for the S24 Ultra and S24 Plus, or just the S24 Ultra. Meanwhile, Apple has used it on their entire iPhone 15 lineup. 24 Ultra and Plus have rated 5,000 milliamp batteries. The 24 Ultra stacked structure is different though. To make it cooler, they applied cooling gel, which would allow for 65 watt charging and stability. That's one of the big things coming out of this is not only the stacked batteries, but 65 watt charging on the 24 Ultra. They also go on to say, or he also goes on to say, is this isn't final, just prototype sample. According to someone, stacked equipment has yet to arrive to Chinonen plant, just trial pilot plant on China. Stacked battery is denser, less heat dissipation, hotter. I'm curious about Apple solution and S24, 24 plus to overheating also future flip and fold six. So again, none of this is written in stone as you would know anyway, but basically it looks like Samsung's finally trying to do something different with their batteries. And also the bigger thing with the charging to get 65 watt charging. And when you are talking about 65 watt charging, that fast of a charging is able to charge your phone in about 45 minutes from zero to a hundred. And then like zero to 50 is probably going to be like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes or something like that. And then as it gets closer to a hundred, it slows down. But that's good news. Uh, it, we'll see if this ends up ringing to be true and coming out or not, or if it's gonna be saved for the next phone. You have to think they're gonna do this. They've had the same charging for years. It has to come to a, a, a halt somewhere, right? So hopefully they're actually gonna do it this time. What do you guys think? Do you think Samsung's finally gonna increase the charging speed on their phone from 45 watt and 25 watt? Let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's jump on our Q&A. Goon Squad's asking if I've put my SIM card back in my Galaxy Z Fold 4. Nope, main phone is my Pixel Fold. It has been since the day it came out and I will not be putting it back in the Galaxy Z Fold 4 unless I break this one. Custom Made is asking if I think that the OnePlus will have wireless charging. Yes and no. If, if the price is gonna be $1,700 or more, I think it will have wireless charging. If it's gonna be like $1,500, I would say no. I think they're gonna to try to cut corners on some of this stuff. Wireless charging would not surprise me if they don't have it in order to get these prices lower and lower. Marty's asking if I think the OnePlus Open will have internal screen stylist support. I don't think they will. I think they're, again, I think they're, I know it's basically a carbon copy of the Oppo Find, and it's gonna be a carbon copy of the Oppo Find N3. I, I just don't think they're gonna add it. I think they're, again, trying to keep these costs low. So I think that it would be something that's not there. If it is there, I mean, this is gonna be an even crazier phone that probably most people are gonna want. Last question from Jason asking if the OnePlus Open will be carrier or available, available or just through their website. Um, that's a tough question. I, I obviously don't know, so I'm speculating. The website definitely. Carrier, I think if they do it through any carrier, it probably would be T-Mobile, but I don't think they will. I think it's probably only going to be through their website at the most part. Maybe you'll see it through Amazon or something, but I don't think they're gonna send it to the stores to be purchased. I think it's gonna be direct to consumer for the most part, or just online sales, I guess you could say that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below with the hashtag question. Thanks for watching, we'll see you down the road. Peace.